Whether it's books I'm reading or podcasts I'm listening to or just thoughts that appear in my head or conversations I'm having with other people, I always have a pen and notebook with me so I can jot down quick ideas or summaries of books or whatnot. The thing is, there are times when this just isn't that practical or is downright unsafe to use. For instance, say I'm going for an afternoon stroll. I don't really want to pull out my pen and notebook and take notes while on a back dirt road. Not exactly safe, but definitely doable. More importantly though, I really can't be taking notes while doing a 36 hour drive, say if my family and I are going down to Florida, like we did a couple of weeks ago. So for those occasions, I decided I would switch to a dedicated device that is a little pocket sized digital audio recorder. Now, as cool as it is to have dedicated devices, I really push back on buying this for myself for quite a long time. I have an iPhone, which is a great audio recorder in its own right and very configurable and can plug into all of my existing systems already. So why not use this? Well, really, it came down to convenience as well as safety of use while driving. Hey there, I'm Kelly. I'm a father of six, a full-time software developer at Rescue Time, and Dean of Digital Campus at Sigma University. On this channel, I like to talk about productivity and tips and things you can do to get more done in less time so that you can spend more of your life doing things that really matter instead of just sitting behind a desk and cranking out widgets. And as I mentioned at the beginning today, we are talking about why I switched to using a little pocket recorder versus my iPhone. Now, I'm not gonna tell you the specific make and model of this device besides the fact that it is Sony, and that is largely because Sony has horrendous naming schemes, and so I don't know what this thing is called, but it doesn't matter. Any pocket recorder would do. I largely chose this one because it was the newest and it had this little fancy USB port that I can just plug right into the computer without any cables. But of course, I need an adapter to go from USB-A to USB-C. Go figure. Anyway. The thing is, why not just use my iPhone in an app like Otter AI? Especially because I already use Otter and they're a fantastic service for a bunch of other things. If I'm taking notes on a long walk or car, sometimes it has to do with random thoughts that pop into my head or things I'm trying to work through, but more often than not, it's because I am listening to an audiobook or podcast and want to take notes on that material. Now, up until getting the recorder, my process was pretty simple. I'd be listening to my book with my AirPods in. They'd come to a section I want to take note on. I'd click on the AirPod to pause it. And then I'd have to either switch to the Otter AI widget so I could start recording, or I'd have to use a Siri shortcut to start the recording. I could just talk into the AirPods like normal, like I was having a conversation with someone over the phone. But if I want to stop the recording, I had to actually look at the iPhone, find the stop record button, click that, and then restart my audiobook or podcast. Not exactly the safest thing to do while driving 70 miles an hour with the whole family in tow. Which is why I decided to get this for that long trip. It's an easy button that I can press by feel without having to look away from the road, keeping one hand on the wheel at all times. And the best part is I can still use the Otter AI service to transcribe the notes and sync them automatically to Rome as I already am doing. My new workflow looks like this. My iPhone as usual is just magnetically attached to my dashboard playing an audiobook or something like that. If I come across a passage or want to take a quick note on something, I will just pause my audiobook, pick up the recorder and without even looking at it, I can press a button to start the recording, press another button to stop the recording, put it down and restart the audiobook. It's way safer to do. Now, of course, instead of the recordings automatically happening within Otter, they are now stored in this device, which means at the end of the day, I do have to plug this into the computer using the inbuilt USB-A port via a USB-C adapter, drop them into a Dropbox folder, which automatically syncs to Otter AI. Otter AI will transcribe those for me and then zip them off into my Roam inbox where I can process them as I usually would do. Overall, it is a very seamless process and it is way safer. Plus, there are plenty of days where I just want to get out of the house leaving all of my connected tech behind, including my iPhone. But I can still carry this along, taking notes as I go without you know, worrying about being disturbed by other people. And yes, I know I could put the phone in airplane or do not disturb mode. I just don't like to carry it with me. As far as audio recorder, no, it is not the best audio recorder out there. I mean, the audio quality is definitely subpar. There's plenty of background noise in the recordings, especially when driving in our 2012 minivan with all the background noise from the road or kids in the car. But you want to know what? Otter AI does a fantastic job transcribing, even with that background noise. And that's all I need. Of course, sometimes I'll go back to the recordings, but in reality, I really just need that text. Who would have thought? And a little pocket recorder would have become part of my everyday carry. Okay, maybe not every day, but at least every day that I'm doing long journeys in the car from here on out. That's all for this week. Hope you'll stick around. Talk to you later. Bye. This was something...
this is a pretty cool device, even though it is. And Dean of Digital Campus. Dean of Digital, let's enunciate here. Let's scratch that. 